2019 Woodbridge Cross Country Classic. Jason Aspenner, he is the glue for Newberry Park and they had an incredible performance today. They won the sweepstakes race, beating Great Oak 35-68. Nico Young won the race in a course record 13-39. Jace with the race of his life in second, right around 14.02. I know training has been going fabulous for you guys. Did you guys run pretty much what you thought or did you exceed in any way? Um. I feel like we all like knew we could run when everybody ran today, but I don't think we really realized like what it would convert to for like a team performance. It's like we knew Nico could go 1340 or under, and I like I trust what Sean says, and he said, "Look, Jace, you're gonna run low 14 minutes here, and you have a shot to dip under 14." And I didn't really, I don't think I really understood like what that meant for like placing wise. Like, and the same with Colin and Nick, like I don't I don't think like it really hit us until we were actually in the race and said like, oh my gosh, like we're putting four like in the top of the race. So you had a good year last year, but as the year went on you got stronger and stronger in cross country, you had a really good track and field season, and then you just raised another level this summer obviously because things are going really well for you this year. What's been the main thing that's really motivated you or what's been the difference for you, you think? Um I, mean, I think this year it's just like it's the last one, so we got to make the most of it. And I think we just really stepped up our training to the next level with that month in Big Bear. And I think that was just like amazing for us physiologically and as a team. Like it really just like helped me like narrow in on like these are the guys I'm running for. Like this is my team. It's like when I'm in that race and I hear like Nico up in front of me, I'm running for Nico. I'm running for Colin. I'm running for Nick. I'm running for Lex, Daniel, Tommy, and I'm running for all the guys that were in the BG. Like. It was like, in Big Bear, I just kind of realized, like, it's bigger than myself. And, like, we're just here to have fun. It's going to be a great time. Spoken like a true team leader and a true, just overall, great, great character. Uh, the race itself. So, obviously, you've got Nico, who's just a man on fire. At what point in time did he begin to pull away? How soon was it? And how do you how do you react to that? Do you try and keep contact? Do you, do you realize, you know what, I need to make sure I don't overdo it? Well, how, what goes through your mind? Yeah, so, in workouts, I've kind of had to learn how to basically deal with Nico being ahead of me in the workouts. So I think I've gotten used to having Nico like take it out pretty hard. I'm like keeping him in range for like that first mile or so. And Nico just, he turns into a flash after the first mile. He's just like, he, he just has like an amazing ability. He's gonna do amazing things in the future. And I think like the, it's kind of funny cause like I feel like the whole country keys off of Nico. And our, our team, I think, has a special advantage by training with him. So we get to practice keying off of him in workouts too. And so in practice, I get to work on how I'm gonna pace off of Nico and like where I have to be behind him. You did. Yeah. Well, you mentioned you know, that the, the team has an advantage of having Nico at the forefront. The team also has an advantage of having you as a leader on that squad. So great job, congratulations. Keep it going. Ready to go. Taste has yeah, Thank Do you. Do a great part.